All right, so I want to share with you my recipe for grain-free, sugar-free, whatever free, you know, it's carnivore, essentially, waffle. Uh, so we're going to make those. They're incredible. So first of all, eight eggs. So these are going to make around like four big waffles. And then we have a cup of shredded cheese. It could be mozzarella cheese. We have uh, two tablespoons of xylitol. That's to replace sugar, but you don't have to use this. It's only like if you have kids and they're used to sugar, you can use this. It's kind of a sugar replacement. And we have a teaspoon of vanilla. And we have like half a teaspoon of cinnamon to give it a great, great taste. And we have like a cup of pork rinds. This gives kind of a texture to the waffle to make them a bit more solid. All right, so we're just gonna blend everybody, everything in. Let's do it in a blender. Vitamix is always the best for doing this because it blends at high speed. So let's do it. All right, we got all our stuff going in. And if you hear a sound in the background, it's my dishwasher running. You know, I'm busy, I have kids, whatever, who cares? So it's not super good video, but at least it might help you. All right, so we're just gonna put everything in and we're gonna go blend this. All right, so ready to blend, so let's do it. Vitamix on. And then we're gonna increase the speed. All right, so we're done. So we're blending it for like 20 to 30 seconds only and that should be, do should be doing it. Next, what you want to do is want to make sure your uh, waffle maker is started. So I just started it around like, you know, four is the settings. You can put it at three, but five is a bit too much. On this one, it's the Cuisinart, uh, you know, a reversed, like not reversed, but uh, vertical. So it's, uh, we're just going to wait till it's very warm and then we'll start making our waffle. All right, so it's green now, so we're good to go. So let's do it. So we're just going to pour this in my little cup. That came with the uh, waffle maker. Oh, it's a bit much, we'll see. So let's try it out. So we're just gonna pour it, and then it should be like a usual kind of waffle mix. You know, it looks very nice. All right. Okay, and that should bubble up. And then we're just gonna have to wait till it's going back green. All right, it's green. Yes, let's do it. So we're gonna see how they look. All right, so we're just gonna put that down. Oh my God, that looks really good. So we're just gonna grab it. And I like to put it on a little tray like this so it can dry out, so it doesn't become super moist. So you know there's a space in between here. So yeah, so I'm gonna do four more like this, and then we're gonna be all set with our waffle, which is uh, fantastic. All right. Now, look in the description of the video. I'm gonna put the recipe, and then feel free to like this video. I know it's been made with high production value, and you know, very technological equipment, so I hope you enjoy my French accent as well. Thank you.